Ever found yourself caught in the relentless whirlpool of thoughts, trying to solve a problem that seems impossible to unravel? Well, that's the classic sign of overthinking. Overthinking, a common phenomenon, is like a pesky mosquito buzzing around, refusing to let you have your peace. It's the art of creating problems that aren't even there. But what ignites this flame of overthinking? One of the prime culprits is fear. Fear of the unknown, fear of making mistakes, fear of judgment. It's fear that often handcuffs us to the past or the future, preventing us from living in the present. It's like walking on a tightrope, constantly anxious about falling off. Then there's the intolerable uncertainty, the gray zone where everything seems hazy and undefined. Some people struggle with uncertainty, their minds spiraling into countless what-ifs, trying to predict and control the outcomes. It's like being lost in a maze, running in circles, hoping to find an exit. Trauma too can trigger overthinking. Past experiences that have left scars can often lead to a flood of thoughts. It's like a wound that is healed but the pain lingers, resurfacing now and then, causing discomfort. And then there's perfectionism, the pursuit of flawlessness. The constant desire to achieve the unattainable perfect can often lead to overthinking. It's like chasing a mirage, always so close yet so far away. Overthinking can also be a symptom of mental health conditions like generalized anxiety disorder, social anxiety or depression. It's like a storm brewing in the mind, causing chaos and confusion. Now what happens when overthinking becomes second nature? The effects are more than just mental exhaustion. It can lead to chronic stress, affecting physical health. It's like a poison seeping in slowly, causing harm without one realizing it. Overthinking also leads to indecisiveness, the inability to make decisions. It's like being at a crossroad, unable to choose a path, stuck in a loop of endless possibilities. Furthermore, overthinking can impact sleep. It's like a nocturnal bird, keeping you awake when the world sleeps, robbing you of the rest you need. Now to sum up, overthinking is a complex web spun by fear, intolerance to uncertainty, trauma, perfectionism, and sometimes mental health conditions. The effects are far-reaching, causing not just mental but physical distress, indecisiveness, and sleep disturbances. Remember, every problem cannot be solved, every question cannot be answered, and not everything can be controlled. Sometimes it's essential to let go and let be. After all, life is too short to spend overthinking.